Hey, why don't you make like a tree and watch this video? Now that we have a basic idea of what life is and where it may have come from, the final question is, who are all of these living creatures? Animals and plants immediately come to mind, and for hundreds of years, that's all we thought there was. Just the two kingdoms of life, animals and plants. Animals move around and eat food, plants stay in one spot and eat sunlight. Simple and easy to remember. But then, around the middle of the 16th century, the microscope was invented, and a whole new world opened up. More recently, advancements like genome sequencing allow us to literally read the genetic code of living organisms and see exactly how closely related they are to one another. As the decades went on, the two kingdom system of life just didn't cut it anymore. Biologists were discovering more and more varieties of life so they had to get creative. Changing our way of viewing the living world into something like a giant family tree. At the very base of this tree is a little guy named Luca, which stands for Last Universal Common Ancestor. Luca is the great, 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 et cetera, grandparent of every living thing on planet Earth. Luca was also a prokaryote, a type of single-celled organism that stays incredibly small and has a fairly simple cellular structure. At this point in evolutionary history, every living thing on Earth was a prokaryote. But that was about to change. Around two and a half billion years ago, Luca reproduced, splitting into two prokaryotic single-celled organisms. One of these two daughter cells was the ancestor of modern-day bacteria, but the other one evolved some fun new features and became the common ancestor of two brand new types of organism. One of these was the Archaea, a type of prokaryote famous for its ability to survive in some of the most extreme conditions on Earth. But the other one was a eukaryote a type of organism that would open the door to a remarkable number of evolutionary pathways, including the path that would lead to animal life and eventually would lead to you. We'll talk about all the differences between prokaryotes and eukaryotes another day, but for now, the most important thing to remember is that the tree of life now has three major branches. We call these branches the domains of life, bacteria, archaea, and eukarya. Seems simple, right? Let me fix that. Domain is the name we give to the highest rank of classification in biology. When we place organisms into different groups, it shows us how closely related every life form is from one another based on their most recent common ancestor. These groups are called taxa, and the act of placing organisms into different groups is known as taxonomy. Taxonomy can show us how humans are related to the other great apes, how the great apes are related to other primates, how primates are related to other mammals, how mammals are related to the other animals, and how animals are related to all the other eukaryotes, and how the eukaryotes are related to archaea and bacteria. As I said before, it's easiest to think of taxonomy as like one giant family tree for all life on Earth. Within each domain, there is one or more kingdom, the next taxonomic group down the line. From there, the tree of life branches out even further. In order of classification, the taxonomic groups are domain, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. For example, this is my friend Claudia. She is a redfoot tortoise and also just happens to be one of the most beautiful animals on the entire planet, and she knows it. Redfoot tortoise is the common name for her species. The scientific name being Kelenoidus carbonaria. Get back here. Scientific names, also called Latin names, are always broken up into two parts. The first part is the genus name, which starts with a capital letter. The second part is the species name, which begins with a lowercase letter. So her species name is Kelenoidus carbonaria, genus Kelenoidus, family Testudinidae, order Testudines, class Reptilia, get back here, phylum Chordata, Kingdom Animalia, Domain Eukarya. On the other hand, this is my friend Beans. He's a baby African spur-thighed tortoise. Scientific name, Centrocheles sulcata. Like Claudia, he's in the family Testudinidae, but he's in the genus Centrocheles. So while they are pretty closely related, which is obvious given the shells and the cute little faces, uh, they are different enough to be placed in two separate genera. This tells us that the common ancestor between these two species existed recently enough for them to be in the same family, but long enough ago that they can't be placed in the same genus. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna throw a wild card in here. This is a prickly pear cactus, Optunia robusta. Tis a plant. Now, obviously, a cactus is very different from a tortoise, but if we follow the tree of life down far enough to the level of domain, we'll see that they're both placed in the domain eukarya. So as different as they are, 
they still share a common ancestor. Now, obviously, this common ancestor wasn't half cactus, half tortoise, because that would be like a ridiculous Pokemon. It was an organism that branched off into the group that became the plants and the group that became the animals and the fungi. Fun fact, fungi are more closely related to animals than they are to plants. So impress your friends with that yummy little nugget of knowledge. Back to my main point, and I can't stress this enough, all organisms are related to one another. And if that fact doesn't make you feel truly and deeply connected to the planet and the many forms of life that we share it with, then I did a bad job making this video. Regardless, I think I'm gonna make a few more. I wanna fully explore the tree of life from its roots all the way up to its tallest branches. I'm gonna start with three videos highlighting each of the three domains. From there, we're gonna focus just on the domain Eukarya. We're gonna learn about plants, fungus, protists and animals, and because animals are my favorite, we're gonna spend the rest of our time looking at just the many incredible branches of the animal kingdom. So I invite you to come on this journey with me, to explore life on every corner of this unbelievably beautiful planet. Join me, hold my hand, I'm scared, help. Stay curious, stay connected, and never stop evolving. I'll see you next week. What are you doing later?